Okay, this is Mario once again, and I just received this box here that contains a 3D printer. I actually ordered from this company. This is uh, two trees. Um, I ordered a uh, just a regular uh, uh, um, Cartesian uh, style uh, printer, uh, uh, just a regular uh, X, Y, and Z, and then I ordered a Core XY machine which I'm still waiting for but this machine got here uh, it's been about uh, five six days I think uh, so I'm eager to open this uh, this up and, and show you the type of machine that this uh, that this is hopefully my uh, intuition and just my what I was reading about when I stumbled on this company's uh, um, when I stumble on this company's uh, uh, machines it'll justify my selection uh, you'll probably uh, no, if you have seen, I've been following my la uh, last videos, even though they're not, they don't get m much uh, 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 views on them uh, for some reason. You know, I don't get as many views as I used to get on some of the things. And really, it's not, I don't, you know, I'm not after views. I'm, I'm actually just posting this up because uh, I got nothing better to do than, you know, post uh, videos on, on this, this stuff right here. And if people want to see it, great. If not, then that's okay too. I'm not, uh, <laughs> you know, not eager for views or uh, popularity or, you know, trying to pr promote uh, things. But uh, let me open this up. So hopefully it'll um, it'll justify, like I said, my my intuition and just uh, the, uh, the 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 stuff that I was reading on this machine, and it'll go along. Um, it'll meet my uh, expectations, uh, considering that um, if you have been following my other videos, you'll know what I'm about and uh, where my mind is is at with uh, respect to 3D printers and how I like. Uh, the machines to be so I found this company and, and I think uh, this might just answer my my desires for uh, uh, a bigger machine than my Anycubics that's the reason why I got this one uh, it's the reason why I got the artillery uh, Sidewinder uh, X3 Pro because I thought that machine was going to uh, answer my my uh, my needs well as far as the size of the machine I had no issues with that but it was the, the, the quality of the machine okay so here we go unboxing of this uh, uh, machine here. This is a Bauer, Bauer Plus, and I can I can just tell, just by looking at the, <laughs> at the way this is laid out and and, and um, the way this machine is uh, has, has been shipped. Um, very similar to the way the artillery uh, send the machines. They're very similar, similar to what I think most 3D printer uh, manufacturers uh, send the machines. They're well packaged. The artillery was also packaged like that. I didn't do an open box video on the uh, artillery, but to be fair, it uh, had similar. Um, similar protection for the machine <clears throat> but I can tell that this is this is not plastic this is metal and I noticed this when I saw this machine um, uh, just via photos and uh, videos that um, this was kind of similar to my Amni Cubic because the Amni Cubic is done we know with metal metal pieces and I think this machine is, uh, has uh, been around you know s uh, for a few years now so I bought it with that um, uh, w w with that understanding, um, at least in my mind, that uh, I was buying an older machine. However, this machine, if you notice on the manual here, it's, uh, it's just, it looks like it has a glass bed, and I believe it does have a, a glass bed, and that's the reason, why, another reason why I bought the machine. Um, instruction uh, manual uh, seems to be fairly, um, fairly nice laid out. I mean, uh, the cover's certainly nice. It's a nice manual. It's a hard cover. This is a cardstock uh, uh, material, nice photograph, uh, not like the other manuals that are, uh, you know, just uh, pieces of paper. And it's got some additional, maybe um, additional information about the machine, how to set it up, how to uh, check uh, whether the entry frame has been fixed and whether the screws are tight. This is just a double check uh, uh, checklist uh, to make sure that you've uh, assembled the machine correctly, but very nice, very nice manual. Looks like everything is uh, there laid out. But having assembled machines and having designed my own Core XY machines, I'm not I'm not in the pro in, in the um, business of producing uh, some of uh, um, 3D printers. So that when I say I assemble, I design my own Core XY machine. You can see those videos. I have those on my YouTube channel. I did it for self enjoyment and just to um, see if I can do something better than what I had at the time. And so uh, I am familiar with the uh, the process of uh, designing, manufacturing, and assembly machines. So these manuals are not uh, really. I mean, I don't follow everything by you know uh, um, 
step by step because I, I've already built, uh, you know, the, the anti-cubics are, were similar, you know, they come in, uh, the gantries are separate than the base and then you just assemble with bolts and from there you just um, take it from there and just uh, follow the rest of the instructions. But this looks like it has a... I've seen these boards before, these controllers. I'm not sure what type of controller this is. I don't know if they mention it here. Um, it looks like, uh, yeah, it's a Maker Base MKS Robin Nano V version 1.2. Um, looks like a nice layout. SD card, USB uh, connection here, or the, not the uh, USB, I think. Is this USB or Ethernet? Ethernet. Well, we'll see when we open the machine. So, nice instructions, you know, I, and uh, I'll, a layout of the, the PC board, which is very handy to have all this information in case you, you want to re repair the machine, you want to know where everything's at. So, very nice. Uh, so far, I like it, very nice. Uh, bag is typically all the manufacturers, they send you these bags with, um, with the SD card, and the SD card is there. Um, clippers, you know, the typical hex keys, uh, wrenches, and a USB connector, and brackets. Okay, so let me pull this, uh, I'm, I'm going to leave this in here, just for now. And they give you this, uh, what is this? They give you this, uh, I, I don't know why they use this little dolphin here with their machines. Maybe that's their, their, their uh, mascot. So they send me this, uh, this device here, oh, oh, it's a, uh, it's, like, it's like a little purse or something. Cute, you know, the little details like that. I mean, they're they're cute. I don't, I don't care for stuff like this. But the fact that they, the company is going the extra mile to give you these these little extras here. Yeah, I guess you can put all your tools in there. Um, I would much rather prefer, you know, just a little box or that the machine has uh components that uh to house all, all the tools you know so that everything's in, in near the machine in one place but you know this is their mascot i believe as they show in the, in, uh, in all their their product uh, logos so it's a nice touch but like i said we'll, we'll put this away for now i'm eager to uh open the machine and, and see what else they, they it contains here so let's open up this um see if my camera can <clears throat> it's a little bit too too close and I don't have a tripod, so I'm filming this with one hand. But let's see if we can uh, lift these. Um, let's see if we can lift these pieces out. These are all foam pieces, and it looks like you know even the the layout of the of the uh, of the foam pieces is well well made. It's, it, it looks like they took the time to design everything. They designed them. They designed the machine, and it looks like everything else. They uh, they design according to uh, this machine to make it um, you know. To make it uh, uh, to make it safe for uh, for for uh, for shipping, which is um, I mean similar mentality I have used in my own products when I started uh, making the little tiny helicopters and I began with the Robin 280. Uh, if you don't if you don't know what that product looks like, you know just go online and search it. You probably won't find too much information, but if you do find it, you'll see that um, Robin 280 was one of my first uh, products. And um, and I had uh, I had designed similar packaging because everything needed to be uh, in its proper place. The blades, uh, the helicopter frame, you know, the the hardware, um, and so I do understand when things are properly packaged. And I um, And so I, I do recognize those things. Okay, so I'm probably going to have to, um, let's see if I can lift this up. Okay, so this lifts as one piece. And the machine is right underneath there. And this is a, 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 a this is a large machine. And this is one of, one of the reasons I bought it. I mean, I, I can already, uh, I already have the feel that this machine is going to be a very nice machine. It's just by what, what I was reading, uh, this machine, and I, and I bought the Core XY. Not the latest one. The, the latest one, I don't care for the later machines because um, they come with... Uh, uh, well, if you go to this company's uh, website, you'll see what I'm talking about. They have uh, the, uh, the latest ones. The older versions, I think, are better, even though some people pre prefer the um, direct, um, ex direct extruders. Uh, I really don't care for direct extruders that much. 
um, and, and I'm okay with Bolton tubes, having used you know my my anti-cubics with which have uh, Bolton tubes on them. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. I'm trying to be very very careful here not to not to drop the machine here or to drop the, the gantry. So let's put that down there. So they give you a, a little roll of filament. Uh, this is a uh, this is a lot more than the uh, than the uh, sidewinder um, art from my artillery uh, uh, gave you. They just gave you this. Uh, it was just a just looked like a like a hand uh, spool. It was uh, done by by hand, and then just uh, stuck that in a bag. And they put they put that in the bag of, uh, with the accessories with the tools. So that's a nice little touch there. Um, connectors here for the um, these are. Um, these look like telephone cable type connectors here and this is also something that caught my eye with these type of connectors because uh, it makes it easier uh, to, to assemble the, the machine unfortunately unfortunately they send it uh, they send me this this plate here <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's this machine or the or the Corex Y the one that comes with the, the glass table but in this picture here, that looks like a glass table to me. So I'm gonna have to check the uh, their website again and and, and see uh, and see if I uh, if what I purchase is correct here because I was under the impression that this machine was the one with a glass table and the Corex Y was not. But maybe it's the other way around. Okay. For some reason, every manufacturer is using any every manufacturer of 3D printers is using these uh, metallic uh, magnetic uh, tables with this surface here, which I don't I, I really don't care for this surface. And considering that this machine looks like it's a, a nice a very nice machine, you know I don't care for these surfaces. So that's one of the things that I may, if I keep this machine, if I decide to, um, if it uh, works out okay, and I think it will. Um, I may just uh, swap this for a for a glass uh, glass surface. I, I really like the glass surface. I don't care for these magnetic uh, plates that everybody and their mother is doing that. And unfortunately, uh, you know, even good companies that used to make them uh, uh, with the glass, they're switching to 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 these plates. I guess it's cheaper, maybe. Okay, so this is the machine, the base of the machine. Uh, it's got all these uh, compartments here. It's got the uh, AC plug. And like I said in my other videos, I'm, I'm not I don't I'm not in the business of doing reviews. So what you what you hear from me is basically um, uh, pretty much you know to the point, and it's what you see is what you get type of uh, type of uh, videos. You know I'm not um, I don't um, I don't have special equipment to uh, to videotape my videos. I don't do a special editing. So it's basically as uh, th these videos are kind of done you know as you would you know I guess if you're just a regular person that is just uh, building these machines uh, and, and receiving the product and building the machine from, from scratch so here's the base oh uh, wow it's heavy very heavy nice heavy means heavy means it's solid <laughs> I can just tell that this machine is is, is uh, it's going. It's it's already winning my heart. I just just the way the the, the the base is made. I mean, look at this metal metal parts, wide a wide track. Uh, some very nice uh, uh, couplers here for the for the lead screws. Uh, let's put the uh, the foam away here. Let's put these connectors here on the side. We'll come back to these later. So I just want to get the machine on the tables here. So I'm gonna have to put this on the. On my, rest on my feet while I move this box out of the way and pop this machine on top of this table here okay so let's look at the machine from the bottom you can see that this this is a metal piece here this is a metal enclosure uh, it's a, it's a it's a lower profile but it's got gray feet rubber feet here uh, the this is what I was talking about a full enclosure and this this is a, I, I, I mean I I already had uh, my gut feeling was telling me that this machine was going to be along the, the lines that I've been wanting uh, companies to produce machines like this and so this is why I got this machine but it's it's already it's already uh, complementing my 
my opinions and my my direction when I talk about uh, the machines like this I, you know I prefer the fully enclosed base the power supplies inside there it's got you know the vents right there underneath it's a very very nice base I really like that base the way they did this on this machine and uh, very similar to the Anycubic but this is a much bigger machine and at a fraction of the cost that the artillery Sidewinder X3 Pro cost me I'm not going to say what the, what I pay for this, but just I'm I'm just going to say that because the company may may raise the price after this uh, after the, this video if people start looking at it. Wow, I love it. I love the side. I love the base. The connector here is uh, look at the type of connector that that is here. It's it's um it's got a rubber uh, a, a, a rubber uh, grommet here, uh, a little bit loose. A little bit loose on the fit here, but it's just a grommet. It's not not a big deal. This is more important here that can, the type of connector that's connected to this base here. Very nice. Even though this cable's a little bit loose, it's showing the uh, the wires. That, that could have been done a little bit better with a with a rubber sleeve underneath. But that, that that's that's minor. That can also be uh, a user uh, uh, upgraded there with uh, you know with just a, a rubber rubber sleeve. There's a machine right there. Okay, I need to sit down and uh, and really, really um, talk about this. This is exactly what I was saying in my other videos with the Artillery X3 Pro, and this is what I was I've been looking for a machine with a bigger footprint, uh, like my Anycubics. Right here, you can see the logic in in me talking about these things, and I'm I don't think I'm off the off the. <laughs> Off the chart, you know, when I when I say that this this would be more, this is more logical and more uh, practical from all all points of views. You know, it's it's clean. You have your 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 touch uh, sens sensitive pad here. Everything's clean. If you want to clean this, you can clean it. Nothing is on the side. It's like the um, Creality uh, uh, CR10 and similar machines. You know, with with the side mounted uh, side mounted um, uh, controllers. Uh, even this machine right here, which is this. Uh, which is this, uh, what would you call this, a... Uh, uh, even this machine, which is a Monoprice, um, uh, Monoprice Mini 10, I, I guess it, they, it is the name of this little machine, has a solid, solid, solid bracket. And I said they said this the same thing in, in my other videos. More solid, but it's got the, you know, in the front here, not on the side here, which is kind of uh, distracting when you have those controllers on the side. Especially if it's mounted on a plastic bracket, like the like the artillery was mounted. But look at this machine. Uh, what a nice what a nice machine! Wow. Yeah, I think I'm I'm gonna order another one. Definitely order another one. And I and I haven't even I haven't even run this machine, and it's already winning my my heart already. I mean, look at look at the type of connectors it has here. Very very nice. The the artillery has kind of something similar, but they're 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 not these types of plugs. They're just regular, you know, um, um, JST plugs. I mean, look, look at the look at the look at the approach to the design here in this machine. Okay, and now you have this this area here where the where the PC board where the controller can be accessed through the top. Wow, side mounted side mounted uh, SD card and connections to the computer as I was saying in my other videos side mount those things so somebody's been listening maybe not directly to my, to my, my comments and my, my direction but somebody's been taking into, into consideration all those things beautiful machine wow connector for the uh, for the AC uh, two trees has got the label. Uh, they're they're, they're uh, the company name. Two trees, very very nice. Wow. Um, kind of similar um, uh, architecture as the artillery, um, with the extrusions. This does have extrusions are underneath, but it's covered by this by this uh, metallic base. It's very low profile. This is even more low profile than my Anycubics. My Anycubics are a little bit higher and a little more compact. But this is a 300 by 300 but I believe 400 uh, size machine and it it's really it's, it's really there's there's no comparison with that artillery uh, sight wonder you know 
what you get with side wind winders maybe uh you know the the firmware in the controller which maybe uh, may have more features but i mean look at the, look at look at this machine just the way it, it's made very logical just just right up my alley so when i get the course white that's going to be even better i, I can just taste you know that that corks quite when it when it gets here is it's going to be very very similar and it's just wow wow two trees if you're listening keep this keep this architecture you know please do not do not sway from from the, from these machines um i hope this company is doing well because what a what a beautiful machine metal 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 nothing plastic nothing 3d printed uh these connectors are This connector was a little bit loose here. Okay, so that belongs right underneath there. Okay, so I need to install that that one. Okay, so it maybe it, it got loose from in uh, in uh, in shipping. Not a, not an issue. This is an injection molded part. It's not a three D printed part. Wow, and it's got uh, it's got the uh, the numbers Roman numerals there too, uh, so that you know how far you, you've gone. They're not very very clear because they're molded but at least they they made the intent of putting that there where other 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 uh, uh other thumb uh thumb screws or or or, or these uh knobs you know they don't have it very nice machine even the colors are it's a very very attractive you know with the with the orange and the in the blue i was a little concerned about the colors because i like things in in black in, in when it comes to machines or or uh, i have a uh, i like yellow like school bus yellow but um the blue and uh, you know the way they have the with the orange is very very uh, very very nice nice balance okay so now I'm about to um, I'm about to install the uh, the the top and uh, not to make this video too long I am going to uh, shift over here to the uh, let's see if I can pull this out if I can pull out the uh... okay if I can pull out the If I can pull out this um, the tower. Let's see, is something in the way here? Something's holding it. Something's holding this. Um, let's see. Maybe I need to pull this from the back. Okay, so I'm going to have to stop this video and uh, come back to it because I can't do this while filming with one hand. But just, uh, okay, so let's look at this, at least uh, this part right here. I mean, look at this, metal. Metal, it's got a, uh, it's got a leveling, uh, what do you call this, a uh, sensor, uh, two fans. It looks like it has a very nice, uh, very nice good size heat sink on that uh, uh, extruder hot end uh, that hot end looks uh, pretty beefy too nice entry point for the fans very symmetrical very nicely designed wow definitely going to get a second machine and if I didn't have my anti-cubic uh, i3 megas I would just buy four of these machines uh, just by just by the, the structure just by the structure, the way the way this has been designed, metal, metal, metal. These parts are are metal. Everything is metal. Wow. Two trees. Wow. This is a metal bracket. Not nothing nothing plastic here. Everything's metal. Solid machine. This is going to be a solid machine, just like my any any cubics. I can I can just taste it. Uh, I can't. Uh, let, let's see if I can. Let's see if I can now. Uh, let's see if I can videotape the back of this since I'm only working with one hand here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the back of the machine has that type of a uh, um, extruder. They, they 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 call this the extruder, and which is not the the extruder is typically a, a part of on a machine that extrudes uh, molten plastic. So actually, this should be the extruder. But they call the uh, uh, you know the industry has, has uh, gotten used to calling the 
the um, the feeder, the extruder. Extruder, say, you know, if you look up the meaning of extrusion, extrusion is, you know, when you're pulling a, either a, a, a molten metal or a melted plastic, you know, through a, through a die, you're extruding that, so that's called an extrusion. Um, but they call these the, the extruders, which is actually the feeders. You've got a very nice feeder. Uh, almost, uh, this is, um, this looks like a, some kind of a, a, a molded, injection molded um, clear plastic. Uh, what, what what a nice machine! Wow, that looks like an anodized anodized metal part right there for the um, I don't know if that's the sensor or some kind of a, a, a little box there. We'll see when when I assemble this machine. Uh, wow, the 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 limit switches are just regular uh, limit switches hidden. You I, you I, you you can barely see them. Look at that hidden by the design of the machine. Very, very nice. Wow. And this, of course, is um, it is a uh, this machine uh, does use uh, rollers, just like uh, you know the typical open frame designs. I guess all machines are using rollers these days. But the um, the Corex wise that I got that that uses linear rails, so that's an, another reason why I got that machine. And I decided to get this one too, so I can try both of them. But so far, very impressed with the, uh, w w just with the parts, the materials uh, utilized in this uh, machine here. Uh, stay tuned for the second part of this video. I will assemble it and then you can see the, the full machine and then maybe I'll do another video where I show the, uh, the process. I'll probably do the same thing I did with the Artillery um, X3 Pro. Uh, and you're getting this, you know, direct from somebody that uses uh, 3D printing, you know, day in, day out uh, on, on a regular, uh, um, you know, uh, as honest as we can show these things as possible. Stay tuned for more. This is Mario with MIA Microflight. Thanks for watching.